Hi and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to make this Edward Scissor Hands makeup. I loved the movie Edward Scissor Hands when I was little and I absolutely adored Johnny Depp as an actor. So that is basically why the Edward Scissor Hands makeup got in my list of Halloween videos to do for this year. The makeup has been created using sculpt gel and just some grease paint and powders by Meron. Easy enough to do and loads of fun might I add. So if you want to know how I have created this makeup, please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos we upload to this YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The first thing we're going to do to create Edward Scissorhands is block my eyebrows. And I'm using Cut and Bump Wax by Makeup for Film and Television to do this. And the main reason why I'm going to block my eyebrows is because Edward doesn't seem to have any. If blocking eyebrows is new to you, I have a separate video on how to do this. I will put it in the description box down below so you can watch it if you are interested. For now, I'm going to continue with the scars. I just mixed up a batch of sculpt gel and I'm going to create them on my skin with it. Also, I have a separate video on sculpt gel and I will also put that one in the description box down below. To see where I need to put all the scars Johnny Depp has in the makeup, I just got myself a reference picture of Johnny Depp and I'm gonna get thin lines of the sculpt gel on my skin to mimic the scars he had. That is the first one and all the others will be the same. Just get some sculpt gel on there and get it in the right shape. As it's scars and they're already on the skin, you don't need to blend the edges or get started with alcohol. You just need to get those nice clean scars on there and check the picture for where you need to put them. That should be all Edward's scars. As this is sculpt gel, I need to let it set before I can continue to putting on the foundation for this makeup. It takes about five to 10 minutes for sculpt gel to set. So I will give it a few minutes and then start powdering it with the color set powder I have by Meron. I just have a small powder brush this time as all the scars are teeny tiny. I don't think I need to go in with a kabuki brush for this. So just give all of them a bit of powder to get rid of the shine of them and make it easier to get that foundation on there in a bit. Now all the scars are covered with powder, I can continue to the foundation. I've chosen the Grease Paint by Meron as a foundation. The lightest skin tone is Alabaster and that is the color that I'm going to use today. As the foundation is a grease paint, we need to fixate this with a setting powder. And you should do this with a powder puff, but I misplaced mine. So I'm just taking a face paint sponge. As long as that powder is pressed firmly into the makeup, you will be just fine. I just don't want to go to a party and give everybody I hug my makeup. And I don't want makeup to get on the dress I have for this makeup either. So I'm spending my time fixating this part of the makeup. Once everything is powdered, you can just brush off any excess powder. Then it's time for the eyes. I'm gonna use my eye powder palette by Meron to create the eyes. I'm gonna start out with the brown and probably will put a bit of the rosy color in there as well. I'm gonna start with a light color. I can always darken it up if I think it's too light.
I'm so sorry, I definitely got carried away putting on the powders. Uh, for the final step in this makeup, I'm gonna put some shadows along the scars. So I'm just getting that dark brown again that also is on my temple and on my cheek to just give some shadow to the scars and that even makes them pop off my skin more than when I wouldn't. That should be all the makeup that Edward Scissorhands need. Now I have a costume or actually it is a dress and a wig to go with this Edward Scissorhands I'm making today. I'm quickly going to get them on and then we can see if the transformation is complete or there is anything we need to do to make it complete. There is the costume. You can't really see anything of it, but it's very nice. It's got fake leather and well, it's got all kinds of holes and the Edward Scissorhand feel on it. I'm quickly gonna put on a wig cap because I want the wig on my head as well, of course. So this is a very strange one or I never have these kind of wig caps. As long as they work, it's fine with me. Let's get that wig. At this point, I think I could be Edward Scissorhands, but what I really notice right now is that I've got really blue eyes and I don't think that Edward Scissorhands had blue eyes. I'm quickly gonna check that on my mobile. No, no blue eyes for Edward Scissorhands, so I need to put in some contacts and I think just black contacts would be the best. So I'm gonna check if I've got some 14 millimeters in black and otherwise I will put in some dark browns. Yes, and sometimes a few lenses is all it takes to complete a makeup. Well, this completes my Edward Scissorhands tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it, of course. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the link below to stay tuned on all the videos we're gonna upload to this YouTube channel. There are still some days left in October 2018, so we have a few more fun videos planned for you. Well, I hope you stay tuned and and hope to see you tomorrow.